April 20th, 2023, SpaceX made history again, this time by launching the most powerful rocket of all time. Starship, carried by the Super Heavy Booster's 33 Raptor engines, blew a literal hole in the Earth as the ship began to slowly creep skyward. Slow at first, but then faster and faster, we all watched as it had its surprisingly successful inaugural flight. Many, myself included, had some choice words for the occasion. It's moving! Holy shit balls, it's going! <laughs> we waited with bated breath to see if the starship could decouple and go off on its own suborbital voyage. However, instead, the ship began to do what we could only describe as a triple cartwheel, flipping again and again until... It was icing on the cake. So fired up and excited, I was off to build my very own Starship and Kerbal Space Program too. Hi, I'm James from Greybeard Gaming. If you like this sort of thing, subscribe. I'm gonna try and build this whole ship. So first off, I put on three engines in the middle, then I surround that by 10 engines around it, and then 20 on the outside to copy what they do on the real Starship booster. Uh, I didn't know if I could fit 33 engines on the bottom of an XL tank in KSP2. It was really, really hard. I've had to fiddle with it a whole lot, as you can see here, fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Uh, trying to get them to not clip into one another too much to kind of keep that realism. And now I gotta slap some paint on this tank to make it nice and shiny silver stainless steel. The bottom's jutted out a little bit, so I use some tapered tanks to connect it all together. Now onto the Starship. The Starship's really easy. <laughs> it's just two little, uh, you know, groups of three engines. Uh, one in the center and one around the outside. One of them is supposed to be bigger, the engine bell is supposed to be bigger than the other, so I used vector engines for that. Then I used a little girder to connect the two, and a little decoupler to separate them. A little fairing to clean it up, and that was pretty much it. As far as the connection point, pretty easy. Actual Starship is quite simple too, just a nice tank, and we just slap some black paint on it to simulate those tiles. And then, would it really be KSP2 if we didn't have to fight for the fairing uh, to close for a solid five minutes? But there it is. All done, and I just wanted to add some wings on it. Now, this is where the procedural wings came in really nicely. I think it would be pretty tough in KSP-1 to come up with the exact right kind of wings, and of course I've got another monitor up here staring at it, trying to figure out exactly how these look. So I know it's not gonna be perfect, guys, I know, I know. But I did my best, and, uh, and I liked it, and I hope you like it too. But this is basically it, Starship done. Uh, as far as the actual ship, it's, it's quite simple once you've got the, uh, the engines on. So, there we go. Throw a couple of towers at the bottom and that's it. Okay, yeah, no, that's, uh, that was not what I expected. I think the little girder and decoupler were not enough to hold it. So here I am adding a bunch of struts, as is the case usually in KSP. Just add more struts. Easy peasy. So back out on the pad, gotta get a quick beauty shot here as we look up and... I want to see if this thing will fly. 33 engines to light. Pretty darn exciting. Unfortunately, this is a commentary, so I already know what's going to happen, but I'll pretend like I don't. What happens is, it appears the rocket is too heavy, its thrust to weight ratio is below one, and it falls to the pad. It fell so slowly though that it actually bounced didn't actually damage anything. So we're still just kind of hovering. And I decided to actually just cut the engines and see whether or not we can land. And turns out we can. So technically I think I'm actually the first person to propulsively land a starship. So here we are with the starship. Wanted to find out if this one could fly or if it also uh, didn't have quite enough. And sure enough, its thrust to weight ratio is I think even closer, but just not quite. So here we are, doing the next best thing and just removing some fuel from some tanks to make sure that this thing could fly. I, I just wanted to see it fly. Come on. So one more launch and... I 
can just barely see movement. It seems to be going upwards, which felt a lot like watching the stream again, to be honest. But I won't make you wait through this whole thing. This took a very long time. So here's 50 times speed as we climb up out of the atmosphere into space in a very straight line because I did not want to see this thing start tumbling as well. But the fuel tanks run out and after a quick look at the rocket itself, it's just super pretty. I love the way that all the engines are, are lined up in those concentric rings. It looks so cool. But soon it will be time to disconnect the starship and see whether or not it works on its own. So we have stage, and there it goes. A little hiccup there, but it seems to be entirely intact. So the next thing is to turn it on its side and start seeing whether or not I can circularize an orbit. And sure enough, uh, yeah, this thing had enough fuel that I could circularize and create an orbit, but I wanted it to be suborbital just like the actual mission. So I left it coming back down just slightly in the atmosphere, hopefully to get an aero capture and slow it down enough to land. It just wanted to keep skipping off the upper atmosphere and not actually come down, so here I am practicing some belly flop maneuvers. I don't know if it's supposed to be vertical or horizontal, maybe you can tell me in the comments uh, whether or not it should be on its side, I don't know. But still pretty cool. So I just launched it from the pad again and did a nice little landing here. Perfect landing. I had a ton of fun making this video, I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you liked it, hit like, if you want to see more, subscribe. And if you're one of the new people on the channel, welcome! It's been so great to have you, I'm James from Greybeard Gaming, and we'll see you in the next one.